got an S2000. We have a couple other videos we've been doing um, underneath the car. Uh, we've been using Aeromotive products for our fuel system uh, due to the fact that we're going to be running a lot of fuel through two fuel rails, uh, secondary and primary fuel injectors. Secondaries are for boost. Right here, as you can see, is one of our fuel filters, one of the two actually. Um, it's a 10 AN feed into the bottom of the car. Here's my brake bias, it's a Wilwood brake bias. Uh, due to the fact that I don't have ABS, I got a rear bias control. The front brakes are split in the middle. This actual bias is between the, uh, the crotch area of, of the driver. So if you're to pull in the pit area, he can adjust his rear bias on the fly. Um, as we go forward, you'll see this is an Aeromotive Y connection. Due to the fact that we're running two fuel rails, we ran the fuel rails actually in parallel of each other. So they're both fed with their own lines in uniform and then return to the fuel pressure regulator right here under the car. So the fuel pressure return is also a 10 AN. Basically the fuel system is set up for massive amounts of fuel due to the fact that we don't want to max out our injector duties. It makes injectors work easier and we don't have to worry about running, uh, maxing out our fuel system to get the horsepower we're wanting. Also capable of doing E85 due to the fact that E85 uses a ton more fuel to produce the same amount of horsepower that race gas and other gases do. So with the fact that we're going to be trying to put out a lot of horsepower, we needed a lot of fuel.